Hey guys, and welcome back to another Blender and Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to export an animation from Blender and then import it into Unreal Engine, and this is actually a lot more simple than you might think. So as you can see on screen now, I have this SWAT guy running with a rifle animation, and I want to put this into Unreal Engine. Now this is just a character and animation I've got from Mixmo.com, but I've got it in Blender, I'm going to export it, and then import it into Unreal. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to pause this animation like so, and I'm just going to move it back to the beginning. What we want to make sure we do first, is we want to make sure that our keyframes timeline down here is actually set correctly. So my animation is 21 frames long, so I've made sure to set the end of my timeline here to be 21, like so. So it's just going to perfectly loop when I'm playing like this, as it's going to the end, and then back to the beginning, without any gap at the end with no keyframes. So that is then perfect for me. What we want to do next is simply just export it. So we're going to make sure we select our mesh and our armature. So for me, that's those three here, the body, the head, and the armature, like so. If this is the only thing you've got in your scene, you can just press A to select all. But for me, this is going to be fine. Then we're going to go to File, Export, and we want to export as an FBX. Then you're going to want to copy the settings I'm using here. So what we want is we want to make sure that we have include limit to selected objects. So it's only going to export what we've just selected. Then we want to scroll down to transform. I want to have apply scalings or local forward be X forward and up be Z up. So that's just going to match on real. And we want to apply unit, use space transform. Then under geometry, we don't need to change anything. And under armature, what we want to do is untick only deform bones and untick add leaf bones. So we have nothing in here selected. And then under bake animation, we want to make sure bake animation is ticked. Tick key or bones, don't tick NLA strips, don't tick all actions, and tick force start end keying. And that should be all we need to do. So then give this a name, choose the destination you want, and hit export FBX. That should now be exported completely fine. So we're going to minimize this and open Unreal. In here, I'm going to open my content browser, and I've already got my character imported in here. If you don't have your character imported, that's fine. Just make sure you import it first so we have a skeleton to import this animation onto. So I'm going to drag and drop my animation in here. So mine is SWAT guy rifle run dot FBX. So I'm going to drag and drop that in like so. Then we can untick import mesh as we don't need to import the mesh. We've already got it in here, as you can see down here. Make sure the skeleton is assigned to the correct one. It did it for me automatically as it's already in the folder I'm importing to, but just make sure you select it there. Animation length will be exported time, and you can go through the advanced here, but we don't need to really do anything else on here. Now you'll notice for me, input rotation is set to 90 on the X. That's just because for some strange reason, with this animation, the rotation is wrong. Now I could rotate it on the X in Blender, However, I want to keep it all the same in Blender. So I'm going to import it rotated in Unreal. You might not need to do this. You probably won't. For some reason, it's bugged for me. I have a feeling it's just because I've downloaded it from Mixmo to then put into Blender to then export again. But again, you probably won't need to do that. If you do, import it, see what's wrong, delete it, and then re-import it and make the appropriate changes. So I hope that makes sense as to why I've got 90 here. And the same with the translation and the scale if those are wrong for you as well. But these should all be good, so I'm going to press import all. Then don't worry about here, it says found texture name clash and imported bone transforms different from original. That's again just Mixamo things because I've downloaded it from Mixamo. It's just the way they make them. So we can close these warnings and then we can now drag in this animation we have here. And I can drag in the mesh as well. You see we have this mesh and we now have an animation for it too. So if I were to simulate this, we should see we have this animation working perfectly. And if I go into Blender, you can see it's the same animation we have in Blender and Unreal. We've just exported it over, working perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. As we've done everything we want to do, what we've done is we've set it up so we can export an animation from Blender and then import it into Unreal Engine. This works the same with Unreal Engine 4 and 5. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.